Hello, I'm talking today, this afternoon, about Shklovsky's essay, which is from this book, which if you don't have, there's a PDF in the link on the syllabus. Um, and the essay is called Art as Technique. It's an example of Russian formalism. It's a very famous example of Russian formalism. And so, as you know from reading the Bressler, Russian formalists wanted to talk about what made literary language different from regular language, or as I said in the other video, what makes language worth paying attention to independent of whether or not it's politically appropriate. And Shklovsky's giving us one example here of why we should pay attention to the language in a story or any kind of literary language. Um, <clears throat> and the word that he uses in this essay is defamiliarization. Defamiliarization is a pretty famous now idea that comes from the Russian formalists, but it's really just one of the ways in which artistic language um, differentiates itself from regular language. So Shklovsky talks about, at the beginning, art as thinking in images and how that's dumb. He doesn't think that art works that way at all. If it were truly thinking in images, it would be um, <clears throat> trying to make us grasp things more quickly than we would otherwise do um, if we uh, had to listen in practical language. And he wants to say that the opposite is happening, that literary language makes things much harder to understand, harder to grasp. So for example, he talks about, um, and some of his examples are harder to understand, but when he gets to Tolstoy's diary, he talks about how Tolstoy doesn't remember whether he dusted the couch. He's been cleaning a room and doesn't know whether he did it. And that's an example of how when something is so familiar, you don't even register it anymore. Like whether you locked the door when you were leaving the house or whether you, um, whether you took your medication or just all the things that you do so often that it's hard to keep track because they don't even register for you. And literary language can get us back to experiencing things as if they weren't just automatically things that we were so used to. One of the examples he uses from um, Tolstoy is the horse which describes things for us that in a defamiliarizing way so that the horse doesn't understand what's going on or watches this thing and we have to think about it from this other alternate point of view that makes it look weird to us. Um, one of my favorite quotations from this essay and indeed in literary criticism is at the top left hand side of 430. He writes, and so life is reckoned as nothing. Habitualization devours works, clothes, furniture, one's wife, and the fear of war. But we're so used to things that once we're habituated to them, we don't even notice them anymore. Um, art exists that one may recover the sensation of life. It exists to make one feel things, to make the stone stony. The purpose of art is to impart the sensation of things as they are perceived and not as they are known. The technique of art is to make objects unfamiliar, to make forms difficult, to increase the difficulty and length of perception. Art is a way of experiencing the artfulness of an object. The object is not important, which is his way of saying that whatever political position or um, ideological framework the language is using isn't what makes it literary. What makes it literary is the fact that it forces us to confront things 
in ways that bring us back to the experience of the thing instead of our not even noticing it because we've experienced it so many times. Okay, I'm gonna stop now, but you should have a lot to say about Schklowski on Friday because he's super cool. <laughs>